name is Alice Kent and I'm a double bass player and I'm a member of Albert's Band from the Royal Albert Hall. And this obviously is a double bass since I play it. It is the biggest and is the most humongous thing ever, wouldn't you say? Even on your tiny screens at home, you can see that it's massive. Um, it's basically the size of a house. Not quite. But it is even taller than me. It's one of the members of the string family. The rest of the stringed instruments are the violin, which is totally diddy, about this big. The viola, which is about this big. And then the cello, which is like a baby version of the double bass. The cello and the double bass, we both play them like this, stood up or sat down, as opposed to on our shoulders, like the violins and violas do. On the double bass, there are four strings. In the olden days, there used to be only three, but times have moved on and we need more. So we have four strings and they're made out of metal. And I can play them either by using my fingers, plucking or pizzicato, or I can use this, which is called a bow. More of that in just a second. If I pluck, this is what happens. That one's my favorite. You might have noticed at home this bit here. This is called the extension. I get lots of questions about this when I play um, doing live concerts, don't we miss them? And uh, they go, what is this? What does this do? Because none of the other instruments have them. It's called an extension and it's literally that, an extension to my bottom string. So at the moment, I've got this thing here called a peg, which stops it at E. This is E. But if I take this peg off, I get an even lower note called C. That's a pretty cool note. Now you'll notice that because the double bass is so big, it plays very low notes. Unlike the violin, which is really tiny, it plays really high notes. But this plays the really low notes. I'm gonna use this now, which is called the bow. And the bow, you might know this, but the bow has this stuff on. If I loosen this, you might be able to see that it's a rather recognisable material. It's made out of horse hair. Reason we don't use our hair is because a human hair is too fine. So we use horse hair, which is nice and coarse. Now, if I use the bow to play the double bass, this is what it sounds like. the bow to draw the string, to pull the string and to move the string, the string wobbles or vibrates. As it vibrates, it goes inside the double bass and comes out as a note. And this is a close up of the extension. Other funny things about the double bass is that I can make some really cool noises. So if I pluck really hard and let it bounce off this long piece of wood here, which is called the fingerboard, it's called a bar top pit and it sounds really wacky. Other things I can do is I can play really close to the bridge, which is this bit here, and make kind of eerie creaky sounds like this. That's called Ponticello. Here are three different pieces to illustrate how beautiful the double bass can sound. This is Amazing Grace, traditional tree.
is variations on a theme of Paganini. would you like to know about the double bass? It's my favourite instrument and it's the best in the orchestra and when you next go and see a live concert at the Albert Hall or anywhere else in the world when we're let out of our houses, go and look at the double basses because they're the best.